here is our grocery haul for this particular week. We are on summer break and I'm doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I also wanted to stock up on some meat. So it was a little bit on the pricier side than usual, but we're gonna be stuck up on meat probably for this week and next week. I'm gonna start with the meat department first so I can go ahead and put these in the refrigerator. I got this beautiful piece of chuck roast. I am making a pot roast to share um, tomorrow. And so I wanted a nice big piece, this one right here was four pounds so it was $26 it was a little bit pricier than usual but I am cooking food for friends I also ordered these pork chops for our family when I buy a packet like this this suffices us for two dinners. I'll be making pork chops one time this week and then also next week because they usually bring about seven or eight of these also some chicken drumsticks I bought the family pack Again, this will probably be good for us for about two to three meals. So we're gonna be able to get quite a lot out of this. And for this one, I paid $9.67. This particular haul here, is from two places, is from my Walmart pickup and also Wegmans. I wanted to go to Wegmans just to get the gluten-free graham cracker. And while I was there, I did buy this ground meat. This is almost six pounds of ground meat right here. And they were selling it at $3.49 a pound. And to me, that was a great deal in comparison to Walmart. Walmart was like five something a pound. And I was like, oh no, yeah, I'm not paying for that. <laughs> so I did see this and I did buy it for um, almost six pounds, I paid almost $20. This right here will suffice us, I'd say, for about five meals. So I'm gonna be able to make a good two to three weeks worth of meals with this ground meat right here. So this week I did go a little bit bulky on the meats, but what I will do is I will place them in those freezer bags individually in the freezer, and I don't have to worry about buying meat for the next few weeks. Now I went to Wegmans to get this gluten-free crust. It's a graham cracker crust because I'm going to be making another cheesecake. Yesterday we went strawberry picking and the strawberries were amazing. They were so sweet. I made a cheesecake here at home with my son and I did a little glaze on the top with the strawberries and blueberries. Made the graham crust with gluten-free you know, graham cracker mix. Even though I just made that yesterday, it, the cheesecake is almost gone. <laughs> so I'm going to be making another one per request. This time I'm not putting almond flour, but I am going to make the topping only with the strawberries because the strawberries are just amazing this year. That's why I got this, to make another cheesecake tomorrow. <laughs> in Wegmans, I also went in and got the cream cheese for the cheesecake. I got these pineapple tidbits over here because my daughter loves pineapple and she's been in the mood for it. And instead of just having the pineapple sit on my counter until it's ready and then having to eat it quickly, I decided to just buy these little ones and just give her pineapple this way to see if she enjoys it just like she does the other one. Figured why not give it a try. In Wegmans, I also did get the white potatoes. They were much cheaper than what they were at Walmart. At Wegmans, I paid $2.99 for this five pound bag. In Walmart, they were selling them for 540 something. We are in love with watermelon and this is the season for it. I'm glad that the prices went down a little bit. At Walmart, I think they were going for 450 something or 469. So I went ahead and ordered one of those because now that we're in summer, we take full advantage of watermelon season. Some sour cream for the mashed potatoes and we always have sour cream at home. This is something I get every single week. Some vanilla yogurts for Sean and for my daughter who enjoy eating those for breakfast. I'm going to be making some sandwiches this week. My husband wanted salami for his sandwiches this week. I got the Munster cheese and then my daughter wanted the pepperoni. So I'll be making salami and pepperoni sandwiches for lunch. For the night that I'm going to be making pot roast, I'm also going to be serving them with the French beans. I love these green beans. I got the family pack because it was much cheaper if I got it this size than the other ones. So what I'll do is, I'll use half of it when I make the pot roast and then save the other half for when I make salmon the next time. So I'll put them in the freezer to keep them fresh. Baby carrots, these were 99 cents at Wegmans as well. 
These I like to add inside the pot roast. And I got some raspberry for my son and my daughter from Walmart. They are loving the strawberries as well. This is the time to get all the fruit. <laughs> we love our fresh fruit. The petite diced tomatoes and the chili beans because like you guys know, chili is a staple in our house every week or at least every other week. And if I don't do chili one week, I'll do the taco soup the other week. So I end up using that either way. We got some milk to stock up on our milk. Sometimes Sean likes to have some cereal. We do have some cereal left over from last week, but they're kind of like out of the cereal mode. So I'm not buying any new cereal until they start getting the munchies for that. They like to eat cereal more like a bedtime snack or if they're feeling the munchies, they go for that. Some romaine hearts because as I mentioned before, we love our romaine lettuce. And this week they were a little bit cheaper. I believe they were $2.98 at Walmart. This is so good. We tried it for the first time about a week or two ago and we absolutely loved it. So my daughter asked me if we could get it again for breakfast, so I did. And then my son asked for orange juice for breakfast, so I got that as well. I got the big pack of the sausage. These are perfect for breakfast. Uh, just toss them in the microwave or put them on a pan for a couple of minutes and bam, they are done. So got the big pack since like I said, we're eating breakfast at home throughout the summer. For lunch, I got some french fries so that the kids could have with their fish sticks, but also as part of one of the meals this week, I'm going to be making these chicken sandwiches with some of the chicken breasts I have left over from last, from two weeks ago, I ordered the big pack. And we're gonna have um, french fries on the side as well. I asked my husband what is something that he was requesting this week, and he asked for one of the Pepperidge Farms coconut cakes. So these are great because you can keep them in the freezer and whenever you are ready to consume them, you can go ahead and take it out. This one I'm gonna put in the freezer since I'm going to be making the cheesecake. And then whenever we go through that, Sean can go for this whenever he gets a little hankering for it. My kids love fish sticks. They absolutely love them as well as my husband. So I ordered some of these for lunch. Salmon is not on the meal plan this week. So we got the fish for lunch instead. The burger buns for when I made those chicken sandwiches with fries. We got some regular white bread for sandwiches. And we wanted some bubblies because it's so refreshing. We don't generally drink soda here at our house. If we drink some carbonated beverage, it'll be the bubbly. The kids love it, Sean loves it, I love it. I got the grapefruit one, that's one of my favorites. Sean's favorite is raspberry, and we all love the mango. I really like the pineapple coconut one, but they didn't have that one in stock today. So I went with these three flavors. When we went into Wegmans, the kids saw these and they really wanted to give these a try. Their grandfather gets these all the time and they love them. Noah asked me if they could please have the pickled kettle chips and I said sure so they got this one and my daughter really wanted the Maui onion one this one is really good I've tried it before and they're really yummy so we decided to go with these kettle chips this week I also got some tortilla chips because we are going to have nachos this week I still have salsa and salsa con queso from last week therefore I didn't have to restock on that so just got the chips and last but not least you guys know whoops my pizza box got all destroyed. It's okay. I told you that we are kind of hooked on these rising crust pizzas. Ever since we went to Tennessee, we had never tried them before. We gave them a try and now I get these at least once a week. So this is going to be one of the lunches this week and I love it because it's only $3.98. I pop it in the oven for like 25 minutes and bam the kids have lunch. And it's something that they all love. And sometimes my kids will maybe eat half of the pizza one day, we'll save the rest, and then they'll eat the other half the next day. So depending on who eats, sometimes my husband will eat some of it as well. So depending on who's eating, sometimes this will last for two days. I've shared the grocery haul for this week. Let's get into the meal plan. 
Saturday we will have some delicious pot roast with mashed potatoes. Sunday we'll have chili. Monday rice with beans and pork chops. Tuesday we'll go with nachos. Wednesday chicken drumstick sheep pan dinner. And Thursday grilled chicken sandwiches with fries. If you want to try some yummy new recipes, go ahead and check my recipes playlist in my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!